Our political editor, Paul Francis, joins us from London now. So tell us a bit more about today's proceedings. Well, we're into week six of this trial and we're nearing the beginning of the end, if you like. And today we heard from Defence Counsel or Nathan Gray, the election agent, who is one of three defendants accused of falsifying election returns. Now, his defence lawyer said that he was a straightforward, honest and decent man. And the only reason that he'd become election agent was because nobody else in the South Thanet Conservative Association wanted it because they feared their election expenses would be challenged by UKIP. We heard uh, today as well that there was reference to a forged signature on some expensive returns. What's that about? Well, Defence Counsel for Nathan Gray said that the forged signature must have come from one of two people in the association who the prosecution had relied on as, as witnesses in their case. Uh, and he was underlining the point that uh, they ought not to be treated as uh, credible witnesses if that was the case. I'll continue with that one, but just briefly, on uh, Brexit negotiations on a separate political topic, it's been a big day, a big, big cup, few days for Theresa May. Uh, she's been speaking in the Commons earlier this afternoon. Uh, how's that been going? Well, no surprise that Theresa May has mounted a staunch defence of the deal. Whether that's going to be, be enough to win round MPs from different factions within the Conservatives and indeed Labour remains to be seen. We're told that she's embarking on a regional tour uh, of the country to uh, sell her message and go above the heads of the politicians, if you like, and appeal to the public to get behind her. Whether she's got Kent on the Downing Street grid, however, is not yet certain. And uh, I imagine she'd get a pretty frosty reception if she turned up in some places. And are we hearing more from, from Kent MPs across the county, what their opinion is on this deal? Well, Kent MPs are broadly split uh, in relation to the deal. We know that uh, she has her kind of cheerleaders, uh, the chief one being Damien Green, the Ashford MP, uh, former First Secretary. Uh, but there is still deep unease amongst some of the Conservative Kent MPs about the deal, and in, in additionally from the Labour MP for Canterbury, Rosie Duffield, so they're pretty much, as the country is split, Kent MPs are split too.